Today I'm going to narrate an anecdote that probably most of you may not be aware of. And for that we need to go back to Sharjah in 1982. Sharjah then had still not become an international cricket venue but was at the brink of becoming one. Asif Iqbal and Sheikh Abdul Rahman Bukatir had made plans of felicitating cricketers for their contribution to the game by organizing cricket tournaments. They decided to have an exhibition match between Sunil Gavaskar 11 and Intikab Alam 11. The flight that arrived with the Indian team had film stars in it. As we all know, film stars were regularly spotted in Sharjah in the subsequent years. As the cricketers and the film stars lined up for the custom clearance, the custom officer gave the film stars preference and asked them to come forward. While none of the cricketers raised any objection, Dilip Vengsaka could not bear the custom officer's action. He commented his displeasure in Marathi that the officer took offence. He ensured that Vengsaka did not enter UAE in that trip and was sent back home. Vengsaka was visibly very upset that none of his teammates supported him and that included Sunil Gavaskar, the captain of the team. Many believe that this incident had soured the relationship between the two Mumbai stalwarts. Remember, Vengsaka was the best batsman in the world between 1985 and 87. However, he never got his due, mainly because he was never shy of voicing out his opinion, which did not go well with his colleagues or the administration. Incidentally, he was the one who spotted Virat Kohli and fought for him to be included in the team against the wishes of powerful people in the, in, the, in the BCCI. In my opinion, he has a lot to offer to Indian cricket and BCCI should make full use of his experience.